evening, good afternoon. Hola, family. How are y'all doing today? So, we're about to, I just got through going on my walk and donating items to the food bank here. And now I'm about to go across the street to the Dollar General. I thought I would take you along with me and see what it looks like last time I was in there um, it didn't look great and this is a different Dollar General I try to flop around them um, to show you that it's not just one Dollar General that is looking a certain way so we're gonna go in and see what they look like and I will definitely put a clip of my food donation in here because I hope and it's not to say oh I did this but it is in hopes that if you have extra that you can donate because so many families are in need and are turning to food banks and food banks are struggling some are still getting donations from uh, grocery stores and some are not so whatever you can do to help your community is important so let's go into this dollar general and see what it's looking like you guys continue to stock up and prep so much is happening i mean power grids under attack i mean it's ridiculous every single day there is something um the rail strike and that being avoided or is it really being avoided we'll see so let's go into the store So this store looked better than the last Dollar General that I showed you guys. However, the medication looked about the same. Lots of gaps and empty spaces. Cold and flu medication was almost non-existent. Gaps in canned goods, also gaps in the dog food and cat food section. A dozen eggs now cost the same as milk, almost $5. Thank you.